Virgo, this is your weekly astrology forecast from Born Without Boundaries, Tarot by Astrology Motivation. In this video, we're going to review the major planetary aspects and transits and how they impact your natal sun for this week. This is the week of uh, June 9th through the 15th, 2023. We're going to start really, really broad and then work with the stuff that impacts everybody. And then we're going to focus down on the Virgo specific stuff. And then um, I'm going to break things down into the decans. A decan is a group of 10 degrees. So every zodiac sign has three of them. And that helps me whittle down exactly which of your natal suns is getting impacted in which way because they don't all get impacted by the other planets in the same way because they're all making different angles or aspects to these different planets. So let's get into it virgo you don't have to know exactly where your natal sun is located to enjoy this video by the way all you need to know is your birth date because i will be translating the relative degrees into est i'll be estimating about what birth date that is but if you want the most accuracy go get yourself a natal chart all you'll need is your birth date your birth time and your birth location and you can get it for free on the internet so many different websites do it just just search free natal chart and you'll get a lot of options that pop up. Um, it's just the best place to start. And if you love astrology, I'm sure you, I'm sure most of you already have your natal chart. But if you love astrology, it's the best place to start. It's the place that all astrologers start. Your natal chart is where you begin learning how the universe connects to human beings by learning how it connects to you. So let's get into the big stuff. We have two major we have too many major transits that are happening this week and for those of you who don't know a transit is when a planet moves from one sign from one zodiac sign into another it's basically when a planet moves because when you're talking about a planet's movement it it can transit between the decans too between the different um sets of degrees within its own within within a sign but usually when we talk about transits what we're talking about is when a planet transits from one sign into another and we have two major transits this week. The major transit this week that really impacts you is Mercury. Mercury is your ruling dignitary and we'll get into how this transit impacts you directly but Mercury is going into Gemini this week on the 11th. Mercury in Gemini is a very fun, intelligent, social, sometimes gossipy but education-based, sharing information, learning information through conversations. Um, I would say fun and playful energy, and I really love that Mercury is in Gemini this week. The other major, uh, well, not just for this week, for the next couple of weeks, but <laughs> but I really love that it's transiting from Taurus into Gemini. Um, we also have a major, a major transit that's happening because of a retrograde. So we have Pluto transiting from Aquarius into Capricorn because it's moving in retrograde it's moving backwards so it's going to move from zero degrees aquarius to 29 degrees capricorn now when pluto moves it doesn't move lightly it moves with a big thud and so it's going to thud back into the last degree of capricorn and pluto and capricorn is all about upheaval destruction and the breakdown of law status quo um the corporate world, industries, um, yeah, any anything re regarding career or not just money-based, but the things that have been established and especially rules, laws, and regulations. And this is going to be really interesting because as these two planets transit, they're trying to each other. And Mercury trying to Pluto is very much investigative digging deep understanding making harmony with what's been buried or hidden but definitely that means revealing it or understanding it or harmonizing and balancing things out for what was hidden or what was kept secret or what was kept locked away it's very investigative 
energy. So it would be it'll be interesting this week to find out what ends up coming out. Pluto is also in an opposition to Venus this week while Venus is square to Jupiter, which is extreme energy or a breakdown because of excess because Venus square Jupiter is all about excess, all about overindulgence, all about too much going to the extreme with sensual pleasures and Pluto is all about the destruction and breakdown that could happen from excessiveness so it'll be really interesting to see how all of those things play out um, we also have what I think is a very encouraging uh, aspect this week between Mars and Chiron Mars is going to trine Chiron this week and that is actually a very very healing energy especially physically you have Mars trying Chiron um, which means trauma, pain, suffering, learning lessons the hard way, finally being able to move forward based on the lessons you've learned the hard way. All, while all this other stuff is going on, I think is very cathartic. We also have Saturn, uh, we also have Saturn sextile to Jupiter or Jupiter sextile to Saturn, which is one of the most productive aspects you can have. This is, I get anything done, I grow in a mature way, I am expanding, but in a way where I know I'm making kind of a firm foundation as I expand. This is also very encouraging with whatever the whole Pluto trying Mercury, Pluto in opposition to Venus, that all of that, all of that excess that's coming up, these are, it's almost like these are framing it, the Mars trying Chiron and the Jupiter sextile Saturn are framing it as we're going to make this a constructive thing. We're going to actually do something about this. We're going to, we're going to take initiative with this change to make it solid and healing. So I think it's very encouraging energy, but we'll see how it plays out. Now let's get into specifically what's impacting Virgo. And what I look for with that is what's imp impacting your ruling dignitary, Mercury, um, which we've already just started to discuss, and also what's going on in the zodiac sign of Virgo. Now, what's going on in the zodiac sign of Virgo actually makes it really easy for us this week because nothing is there. There's no, there's no major planets. There's nothing really in the zodiac sign of Virgo. So we're going to look toward Mercury. And we already know that Mercury on the 11th of June is going to be transiting into Gemini. Um, and we already know that Mercury is in a trine with Pluto as it transits as of the 13th of June it is going to be in a sextile to Venus which is actually very almost almost artistic romantic energy um, being able to put things together in a very eloquent way being able to speak in a very eloquent way in a very graceful way maybe very poetic or musical way also being able to have some Product productivity or see some productivity when it comes to financial situations or value systems or your love life and and um, you know what really what really kind of arouses you so having maybe even just having conversations about it that are productive or open up doors this is a very great time to flirt especially since Mercury by this time will be in um, be in Gemini which is a very social energy and uh, Venus is in Leo so it's a very charismatic energy this could just be a great time for some wonderful conversations to initiate especially for you single people out there um, now let's get into the decans. If your birthday is between, I'm sorry, if your natal sun is between zero and nine degrees Virgo, you are a Virgo one because your natal sun is within the first 10 degrees of Virgo season. When it comes to birth dates, this usually translates into August Virgos. So anybody born between around August 22nd through the 31st is going to be a Virgo one. Your natal suns this week are square to Mercury. A natal sun square to Mercury, I'm just going to let you guys know, it's almost like a mini Mercury retrograde. Not because 
not because Mercury is moving in retrograde, it's not at all, um, but because it feels that way. It feels like, why is pe why are people misunderstanding me? Why did this email not get sent? It's kind of like, it's just kind of like the two kind of butt heads and there's challenges with communicating clearly, especially communicating aspects about yourself clearly. So just an FYI this week is not a great time to sign important paperwork, to make agreements or contracts. It's not the best time to take important tests. It's not the best time to um, um, apply for positions or roles or, or, or give interviews. If you have to, there will be challenges. If you, a square is really a challenge that is created to really Lease energy. Um, so I would go into the situation, I don't know, just really well prepared is what I would suggest. Um, you also have a trine to Jupiter and trying to the North Node this week. So that's extremely beneficial energy. That's extremely harmonious energy that brings about just fortune and luck that you don't even ask for. So maybe all these challenges with the square to Mercury will actually end up leading you in the right direction because a trine to Jupiter will do that. It will take things that look like bad luck or misfortune and make them the best thing ever. So this could be a very interesting and a surprisingly fortunate week for you, um, especially when it comes to moving forward towards your future since the North Node is involved. Um, we have two long-term transits and that's an opposition to Saturn, which means there's a lot of activity and constant, maybe even frustration when it comes to your work or your career. Um, but that could also just mean that you just never really get a rest and that you're, you're finding a way to generate energy to move forward or make progress. And then we have that quincunx to Pluto. And the reason why that becomes so impactful this week is because there's kind of a thud back into Capricorn where, um, where you definitely feel the dynamic in where the extremes and where the extreme changes or metamorphosis is happening. So especially if you're born around the Leo cusp, this is impacting you big time because this quincux to Pluto has been around for a while. There's just, and it will be, there's just, um, there's just major frustration and constant friction when it comes to, um, when it comes to life, when it comes to change, there's, you're probably already feeling major transitions happening in your life, but that's going to be long term for the next couple of years. It's just this week you'll really feel it because of that transit of because Pluto's moving and you'll feel it move into Capricorn because it, so so it might express itself specifically with career and things like that. Just an FYI. Okay, Virgo 2s. Um, if your natal suns are somewhere between 10 and 19 degrees Virgo, you are a Virgo 2. Um, this usually correlates to the first, say, 10, 10 days of September, say the 1st through the 10th, um, which would technically be 11 days, I think. So, But say the 10th to the 1st through the 10th of uh, September. This is a pretty light week for you. Your natal suns are about 30 degrees away from Mars in Leo. In which I would just say to you, there could be some surprising things that come up with your energy levels, right? They may droop or they may soar throughout the week. Um, just an FYI. Um, there's also a quincunx to Chiron. Now, since Mars and Chiron are trine, this actually presents an interesting relationship that you guys will have with that interaction. So I think there may be some surprises along the way this week with things that are healing or you're finding motivation or the ability to move forward from different kinds of traumas in ways that might surprise you. Um, so it could be a very beautiful week for you or they could pose challenges that you didn't expect. And and you it, there will be a little bit of a surprise um, element to this week for you. Just an FYI. Um, and then we have Virgo 3s. So Virgo 3s, your natal suns are between 20 and 29 degrees Virgo. This usually correlates to birthdays that are uh, the 11th through the... Um, the 11th through the 30th of September. Um, two long-term transits have just sort of, are just sort of generating the general energy for your life right now. And that is the trine to Pluto and the trine to Uranus. 
because these have been long term. Um, the trine to Pluto is going to be impacted this week though because it is transiting. It's going to move into Capricorn and you'll feel this dynamic change. So when it comes to change, when it comes to being able to spread your wings, because a trine to Pluto is like spreading your wings is like it's like the metamorphosis of the butterfly period the butterfly coming out this is a sense of something now could come back into the career genre or area of your life or you could spread your wings when it comes to having more authority in your life or assuming more authority in your life and people respecting you more um, and then we have that trying to Uranus long term, which is just about exploring other aspects of who you are, being really interested in strange and odd things, and actually just finding harmony when it comes to technology or real intellectual work. Um, and then we have this um, long term opposition to Neptune, which is can be pretty distracting energy if you find yourself being easily distracted it's because of this long-term opposition to neptune but it's not going anywhere and i feel like it's energy that you have already learned to work with and it can be also very psychic energy really drumming up that energy of of that that your psychic abilities that maybe you didn't even know you had but just take your time and allow yourself to dream definitely journal your dreams and if you find yourself being distracted the best way to get yourself back into focus is to use these distractions as inspiration for creativity because then you're learning to focus them instead of being distracted by them um <laughs> and then we have this week through the 11th, you have a trine to Mercury. So that's a really interesting energy because Mercury is your ruling dignitary. And that's actually really beautiful energy too because it's sort of harmonizing with the best parts of yourself. And it's like good conversations, a great way to express yourself, a great time to express yourself, being able to fluently um, link your brain with your mouth so that they come out really eloquently and things work out very effectively. This is a wonderful time for you guys to sign contracts or to take tests or give presentations. There will be a natural fluency to your ability to think and communicate that will absolutely help you or help work help things work out for you this week. So you let me know in the comments below how this is all this energy is impacting you. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel to help astrology motivation grow. My goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. And since summer hasn't even technically begun yet, I think we can do it. Uh, and now come on over to your uh, weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. I will see you guys. I love you. Bye.